Welcome back to the BDG Fantasy Football Channel. Hi. Wow, that draft filled up quickly. We've got Hi. a 12-teamer uh, on Underdog, as we're going to be doing every other Thursday. This stream in particular, as the ones on Thursday will typically be, they're closed off to just the big dog members. Those are our most coveted members that sign up to be part of our little community over there at BDGE. Co. They get first access to us. They get first access to these drafts. They get all the access that they want to all of us. Hi. Pause. Underdog Fantasy, if you're new to the platform, deposit 10 bucks. Code BG, you'll get some deposit matches, and you will also get our draft guide absolutely free with that deposit. BDGE.co if you want to pre-order, if you can't get on to Underdog. Show the draft board, please. That's code, baby. I believe that we have um, – Probably started a draft soon, or it's about to BDE launch. BDE certified hater. Dub what attitude. The hell, Way to get me fucking fired up on a Wednesday goddamn morning. No, I'm not the way. The draft. I get the draft from the too. bike of this thing. Let's get the draft up there, boy. If any of you guys have any like general questions throughout, this is the time to do it. Right, as a big dog member, we want you to have uh, Q and A access to us. So any player Look outlook, any school. team outlook, uh, any draft outlook, okay. feel free to shout at us. The little thing you do. Yeah, do that. Do that little thing, Adam. Where just go over there, click that little grid right there on on top of the name, right here, right by Nick. Do uh, not turn autopilot on, you cunt. <laughs> do what? Go down. It was right where you were, but down where see the red dog. And yeah, then there's a, a grid bit. to the and left. To the left a little bit. Click that grid. Yes. That uh, grid. Yeah. Okay. Now we're good. We are now go back to Streamyard. Yes, sir. Yeah. Cooking with fire. Fuck oh, yeah. Dang. All right, so I took CD at two. I've kind of just been divvying up my shares when I'm in that early spot of CD versus Tyree Kill. Uh, and I actually, like I said before, I love my favorite spot is that early that early first rounder because I feel like you get a lot of value on the back end of the two and on the, the early third. I low-key love this back part of the turn right here. I don't mind it. Where are you picking at, Adam? 112. Okay, I'm 108. All right, then. 112 is back. He's got a decent little spread here. The cheeks are spread for sure. Hell yeah. Shout out to you. <laughs> Anna got in here on the clock. Anna's coming to the line Anna. next Saturday. Let's fucking go. La last time Anna was on a live, it was electric. No, I disagree. That was fantastic. Like, literally a hard disagree. She took Troy Franklin and then sniped him on uh, Grendo. Oh, fucking fire here i'm starting go. to get a lot higher on the running backs in the first round if i have a back back end pick i think i kind of want Brees or uh Bijan. well give me Brees right here i feel like typically i don't have a lot of drafted shares of Brees hall right now my exposure isn't very high but at this point i'll take probably, him. it's probably time to grow up maybe yeah, yeah. take some Brees. Yeah, can you take that comment off the screen yeah it's like it, it fired me up for a while but now i'm just uh, i did change it but we i'm can. just sick of it yeah you about to be on the clock at the 12 Damn, there goes great. Garrett. You never get That's Garrett. So at messed up. He's man. always there at the 11. He gives you a lot of hope. And I don't know why you never fall. Why they 12. do that to me, though? Well, are we really mad about getting Gibbs at 12? No, yeah. but then you got to take a wide receiver here for or, the most part. Or do you? No, you don't. You don't. You ain't got to do it. Or do I go with the Andrew approach? Yeah, you go the double T. That's fair. This, That's this, is, this team is destined for not great. So if you're new to underdog, you know, wide receivers tend to rip off the board early because you're starting three of them as opposed to two running backs. And you draft a big-ass team. You don't got to do no waiver wire stuff, no trades, no, uh, no in-season stuff, basically. You just draft a big-ass team, and it starts the best players at each position. Oh, yeah. No need to mention the Troy Franklin pick. It's important. Andrew loves him some Troy I Franklin. I love Troy Franklin. See, and this this is where that uh that like tier of running backs or wide receivers just rip off. And like Andrew, you're you're living in hell here. You're living in absolute fucking hell at the two hundred five. How does hell feel? I just feel like I get to pick any of these guys. It doesn't really matter. It matters. That's actually a, a goaded way to look at a Honestly, draft. I get to pick any of these guys. I'm just blessed to be drafting today, boys. Just blessed to be here. Mm -hmm. Blessed to be alive. I got one guy in mind specifically, though. Blessed to buy monsters. Not and I friends. won't say it because I feel like Damn. Nick. Uh, Cavs 23 could take him, but he didn't. So give me some Drizzy Drake. Yeah, wow, the baby. wow, some Drizzy London. Interesting. These ADPs are going to continue to shake up here. There's just a really like unstable uh, tier of of. How, how are you guys feeling about Ayuk currently with everything going on? I still like him. I I'm, I think he ends up in San Fran still for sure. I do too. I don't even feel like. Do you guys feel like it's a bad thing if he does get traded to the Washington Commanders? Do you think that's even bad? Commanders, I would. I wouldn't like that. I don't know. Nope. I, I think I, that's a landing spot. I would. Mm, I don't feel as a downgrade a little bit. I feel like he'd get a higher well, so opportunity share. La last year, uh, Brandon Ayuk was 
in the target range of guys like Jacoby Myers. Yep. Very low. Now, efficient, efficiency was off the charts, but I feel like he's such a good route runner that in a new situation, we could be looking at... Stefan Diggs. I've said it before. Stefan Diggs, 2.0. Got to go high. You got to shoot higher. I go Saquon falling. The but I, I, get, I get that. I like the comp. Yeah, yeah. From Minnesota to Buffalo, Diggs took a major leap. I think I you could do the same. The homie Nick says uh, he's going to take Troy Franklin from you for there sure. There goes Evans. See, Dang. this is this is just why I really like this spot here. Okay, so who who you who are you looking at right now, Mister Nicholas? A chain. I'm going to take Devonta. Devonta. Mm. We were just yapping about him. I'm going to take Devonta because he feels like uh, he's like one of two wide receivers that I like, and now C spin who already went running back first, will probably double dip into receivers. And because we've already kind of talked about how uh, there are two running backs that I still like on the board, I'm okay with either of those guys. Okay. So on the, you know, in the draft strategy video, I was talking about like, this is kind of just played out exactly as I was discussing it, where I get a really good wide receiver up top, a really solid wide receiver two, on the turn and then early third round i'm really like there you go you motherfucker mm. that's why i didn't say no names but look so i didn't say no names because that's what you got though right that's what i'm saying you guys are just playing into nikki's hands so this is exactly yeah. the strategy that i'm loving right now two real good wide receivers off the rip and then usually either kyron or achan uh sits there in the third and as we talked about like kyron man he's just he's just automatic third round pick for me yep give me all the kyron shares here yeah, and I like like Devonte Smith to me. It feels like he's a little bit of a tier higher than the guys that are left. Maybe actually that might be a stretch. Some of these guys are still good. There you go. I mean, well, I I like Smith, but there's a couple guys there that are. Who who went after? We're in Nikki's bird nest now. I like Job. that. Um, pull up that uh that wolf that Rick comment whatever the fuck that says. Mr. Nick. Mr. Nick, wow. Help a big girl out. Love that. Uh, Mr. Nick, a Chan man fan. I have a decision in my keeper league between AR in the eighth round and a Chan in the 13th. Whichever I choose, I keep in that round forever. Forever? Woo! That's kind of sick. Okay. Yeah, that's really interesting. Okay, so normally, like, if if this was just a one-year keeper or even, like, a two-year keeper, I think a Chan would be <laughs> it for me because, I mean, even just per ADP, he's, like, three, four rounds higher than Anthony Richardson is. I'm assuming this is a one quarterback league. If this is a super flex, AR is the choice without a doubt. Um, how do you guys feel about this in a one QB league? It's, it's, I, I'll be honest, I was letting you yap because it was addressed to Mr. Nick, but I can. I feel like for me, when I look at this and I, you keep them forever, it almost kind of brings out my dynasty thought process. Yeah. And I don't really want to hold the running back, Achan, forever. I'd rather hold AR. I feel like he's going to be longer. Where? I know we don't Realized. talk about any like dynasty ADP uh, for one quarterback stuff. Where do you think Anthony Richardson goes off the board in a startup in a one quarterback league? Mm. What do you think? Maybe fifth round? I think that's late. You think so? Yeah. What about you, Adam? I don't, again. I don't play I'm, a lot I'm of trying to figure out who yeah, I'm yeah, make, making my pick here. I don't play. You know what? Uh, you guys, no, no you guys, you guys talked me into T Higgins. All right, All right so, so again? in let's say a dynasty one quarterback league, okay, where is a Rich going in a startup draft? Um, he said fifth round. I think it's. I was actually going to say fifth or sixth. Okay, I think it's earlier than that. I think. Uh, I, I also am speaking from where I probably would become. Do you remember a Rich last Damn. year? I don't know if you guys remember this, but in rookie drafts last year. A rich in one quarterback leagues was like the 107, 108. Yeah. You remember that? So yeah. I, I think he'd probably be like a fourth or th I feel like a 107. Right. Maybe like back end third. I can actually pull it up on. Um, so I don't think it's that too dissimilar. And the fact that I guess you get them forever, I, I, I actually would probably lean A rich despite it being a one quarterback league, Ricky. One quarterback picks. Let's see what, let's see what ADP is looking like. Give you real stuff here. All right. So CJ Stroud's at the 304. A rich is the 508. Really? Okay. Wow. I don't even play in one quarterback. That, that feels that pretty... feels late. Like I, I feel like if we did a one quarterback league right now. By the way, that's quarterback six, though. This group of players yeah. is awful. So where where would you say that he you think he would go then? I, I would say like as early as the early fourth. Okay, so let's see. I don't really like him a lot in now. Recap, okay, so but... if either, whether it's picks or rookies, it's anywhere from the four hundred eight to the five hundred eight for the record. So 
your 408 there if, okay. if it's if you're drafting the draft picks gotcha. and the rookies are actually in now. What about HN? HN earlier because it's one quarterback. Yeah, so HN's gonna be high. I'm gonna guess. Wow. Yeah, 302. Okay. Yeah, I mean, realistically, that is this is kind of like a dynasty question in one quarterback leagues. Yeah. So between AR in the eighth round and HN in the thirteenth, whichever I choose, I keep in that I, round. I wouldn't bro. look too much into the round that you're losing. Um, I don't think that is the is something I would, to really like. If if you're about the thirteenth round for HN though, actually, I feel like that's so late. I might be more inclined to do that in a one quarterback. But that's what I'm saying. Like in the, uh, I wouldn't look too much into the into the rounds because in a keeper <laughs> league, by the time you get the thirteenth round, like the different the type of player that's there is, it, it's like fucking Rico Dowdle or you know some shit like that. Where I, what, I don't what do you think's in the eighth there? I guess is the question. Uh, okay, so all keepers are off the board. So now you're oh, talking yeah. about guys that are probably like oh, yeah, you're the eleventh round picks. Not yet. Oh, okay. Not yet, little hoe. Now you. Is. Mm -hmm. What you gonna do? How is? I almost drafted Christian Kirk. I little, can't believe he's there for you. Little sidebar here. Okay. I'm not really huge on Malik Neighbors for a redraft perspective, but I just got him at pick 41. His ADP is 26. How do you guys feel about that value on the? ADP. Uh, sorry, I just, I'm just going to answer this for him, and then you could take it off. I, yeah, I actually think at the end of the day, I'd probably grab Richardson and just let him anchor my team because HN, while I love him for like the year or two, I don't, I don't know how I feel about his longevity. Okay. Okay, so I took uh, Mr. I, Nick has spoken. I took Lamar at the 411. That feels like a great value. So I did that for two reasons, which I'll say after C Spen does his yeah, you're drafts his spot. Don't do somebody. it, C Spen. Actually, just do it. Yeah, break well, his heart. This guy had two picks. I, I think Kirk was probably maybe the right pick there, <clears> but because Zay Flowers and Mark Andrews were both available, mm -hmm. I get, you know, whichever Stack. one this guy does not take right now at the top of the draft board. And you want it to be wow, someone's got Juan Dale ahead of you. neighbors. Whoa. I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually, I I I'm kind of in on neighbors in redraft to be okay, honest with you. So I grabbed Mark Andrews there. That worked out well. He took Zay Flowers. If he took Mark Andrews, I probably would have taken Zay Flowers. Um dude. Snapback's loving you right now. The Baltimore stack. Yep. I've been, dude, I, they've ended up being one of my like high, most highly owned stacks because when I draft early, you can almost always get the Lamar Andrews stack on the back end there. It feels like it's one of the more reasonable to acquire where Andrews actually has the upside, but doesn't cost you like an arm and a leg. Right. All right, Andrew, you coming up here? I am coming up here. I got somebody in my sights. Um, Do you? Yeah, it's kind of a hope and a prayer, but we'll <laughs> see what happens here. How are you feeling about your team right now, Nick? Talk to the people. Good. Lamar, uh, Kyron, CD, Devontae Smith, Mark Andrews. Damn, that's yeah, a like nice Yeah, I feel squad. like I haven't really uh, missed a beat here. and I have a, I have a very well-rounded squad where I can kind of... Damn, Anna. She took my guy. Let's go, Anna. Kincaid. That's who I wanted. I actually um, would have thought about it. If he took Andrews at the turn, I might have went Kincaid over Flowers. I wanted Kincaid, but look, we actually just talked in depth about this tier of, of players, and you guys know there's a guy that I like here. Um, so I'm going to take Joe Mixon right here, mm. making my RB2 on my lineup with Brees Hall. And then at the wide receiver, I got Drake London, Stefan Diggs, and Malik Neighbors so far. So bad. So good right now. Literally the worst thing I've ever seen. Luckily, it's only a cheap draft. Mm -hmm. We could have made this a BBM. About the, the price of a month. Dang, draft Dark Alano at the 509 in the presence of a, of a king. Yeah, short kings. That's incorrect. That's ridiculous. Well. I'm fucking to be fair, this is the, the camera angle again. Yeah, it's well, all it's good, small. Anna. Come on. Don't you do it, Coda. Leave me alone. Oh, you got. Let me have one thing. Dang, I wanted to get A Rich and Keenan Allen, but you I'm got going. one of them. Yep. I don't I don't really have a good Yeah, this is a tough tier to be a part of right now. There's only bad players left. Except for Chris Godwin. Got my eye on somebody. Except for Christopher Godwin going bike to the you, slot. You like I'm not. Godwin? I'm I like him better than I did last year, but that's not really saying a lot. I feel like he's a I don't love him in best ball, honestly, because I think he's a, a safer wide receiver too, if I'm being honest. But I I, I don't know. The, the other receivers there, I could have taken a shot on an ups, upside shot on worthy. I don't feel confident enough about Rome. What do you guys think? What would you have done there? I don't know. I, I you would have gotten rid of the pick. 
I think I would have yeah, <laughs> just timed out and hope it gave me nobody. How many how many running backs you got on your squad? You I started two? with two of them. Yeah, I probably would have sat on that then. Um, Oz. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Goodness. Uh, Godwin, maybe Addison. I don't have like really any Addison. And I'm starting to feel like I might just be fading him for no fucking reason. I'm telling you, you are. Enough. You are fading him now for I no reason. I feel good about fading him. No, dude, every uh, – <laughs> never mind. Not good. The J.J. McCarthy like agenda has pushed so far into – uh, the the passing game and like they're just gonna be such a condensed passing game. Everything coming out of uh our building right now is that Jordan Addison looks like legit this year. year? Yeah, like oh, oh no one and else, no that's crazy because no one else looks legit this time of the year. They also said that my guy JJ McCarthy he's got aura. He's about to be. He's got so much he's aura. He, he's got so much aura. They're gonna have <laughs> Darnold over him. Yeah. I mean. Teams is Darnold going to be a starter for now? You guys think I won't do something fucking nuts here? What? You won't take Worthy. Uh, you hate him. I would never. Can, I want to see one of you guys draft Rashi after uh, lighting my ass up the last time we did this. I still don't feel good that he's going to get less than four games. All right. I think up to six, maybe eight. And, and I want people to you know, let me get my hair back. It's, just, it's not happening. I'm not taking Rashi. I, I'm I don't I'm kind of worried about just him relative to the guys in this range. I, I think right. he's super talented. Going with, We've talked about this, I think, on another. I, I haven't episode. taken any any Yante. Oh, interesting. I love. I think it. we were talking last live stream about a little down on Deontay. Yeah, I am, but like I when these fucking rookie wide receivers need to move down in eight. I'm with you though. Like they're just too fucking high. See what? Damn, I was thinking about taking him. Um, see what's a good uh, best ball pick. That's got here oh my gosh i'm telling you right now i hate my receivers on this team wow i don't think i, I think next time i'm not gonna do the double rb thing yeah that you don't yeah, like the high team like starting with that all right fuck it let's go uh fuck it we ball let's go jason mm. i don't mind it drafting all guys that i hate this team that i hate is uh i mean i i say that but if rashi's there i'm definitely taking <laughs> At this, I mean, what is it? The seven twelve. Dave kind of just dropped a bar. What do you say? Crazy. You talking about the short king? No, nobody's racing to take Rashi. Damn, you don't get it. I, I for, for a dad, you don't understand dad jokes. No, I do. I was, Crazy. I like the deflection though. We had, I mentioned the short king joke like forty minutes ago already. Right, but it's still right Your there. Your brain is just so delayed. It's yeah, super <laughs> just delayed. So old and so many delayed. monsters involved that it just doesn't work. It's like it, it works fizzling out. Literally, at this point. Yeah. yeah. Like I kind of hear it. If you be really quiet, you can hear the fizzle. Yeah. It's crazy. Interesting. Yeah. So he's got nothing to say. It's it's just, interesting. Just, oh no! <laughs> All he can do is take a sip I, of his monster. I do. Mm -hmm. I do. I just. I have so many things to say. I'm just going to talk about all the things that I have to say. Here you go. <laughs> Bang. Platinum dad joke. Dude, what about Father. this tier right here of Father. every rookie wide receiver, dude? I just feel like at this point now there's like I might which, as well which take one, one which them. which rookie are you taking? I might as well take one. Dude, in the seventh, eighth round, I don't mind that, but like they're always like fifth, six when you're playing in general public leagues. 12, and 14, 11. Those this are my five. Definitely weeks. your audience saviors until out there is kind of insane. 12. I'll, I'll take lad. Dub. Yeah, he. They're gonna be. They're the gonna next. take Herbert too. They're gonna be the next like four picks off the board. Watch. Nah, maybe. Oh. <laughs> nope. Dude, I thought about happening. You better take all of them back. To the two that came out to mind were Brian Thomas and Lad, but Brian Thomas he has the same bye week as neighbors, and I don't really want to double up on there that early. I thought about taking BTJ, um, at my last pick instead of JSN. I wasn't taking Worthy, and I wasn't taking Keon. Coda, don't you do it. You did it last time. Do it to us. Dub. You got no confidence, baby. Save ya. Nick's going to be in shambles when this man goes bananas. I actually don't think he will, but we're taking him. All right. What what on this? What 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 about the players that are left here? Keon, I don't really love. Swift. I like Ferguson. He's probably the last tight end I feel comfortable with being my starter. Okay. What about Mostert here? You like, I mean, most of your guy, it feels like at this point. Yeah, you talk about him a lot. 
You literally Dub. Don't fuck up about him. Old old man in the right. chat. The, you, the brain to brain connection there. Yeah. The brain says twenty one touchdowns. I don't understand. I actually don't understand. Double I just did a video. Five year olds performing like twenty five year olds is crazy. I just did a video with uh, talking about Raheem Mostert. He's going as the running back forty two in dynasty. He's going as what is this in redraft here? Twenty twenty seven or eight? Twenty eight. That's I crazy. I don't want to get it. <laughs> Only person that had 21 CDs was CMC. They love to hate him. Najee off the board. Dude, my James Conner pick. Damn. That Damn. was like a, a locked in Dude, pick right there. Between Anna and Nick, you are getting train run on you. Crazy. This is live. Too. This, this is gross, this? but I'm doing it. We're going some Tyler Lockett. I don't okay. have a lot of Lockett on these teams. I was kind of hoping he fell to me and then I can go stack him, Lockett, and Geno. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Mm. You, do you take uh, a decent amount of Geno in these? Not really. I've, I tend to have like two good quarterbacks by the time Geno's like on the board. What do you have right now at QB? Lamar. Do you have a QB? You have a rich. I have a rich. Yep. I don't have one yet. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna draft a, a lot late, or I'm I'm punting it a little bit later. Okay. Um, probably take two guys, three guys in like that. Yeah. I don't know that QB. What is it? Fourteen to twenty range. And I finally took Keon. Dang, I was actually kind of hoping. Yeah, was a w. there's no chance though. Oh, uh, you're thinking? Sorry, Andrew. What was that? Said so probably take two of the guys in that like QB fourteen to twenty range. Okay, like T Law to a T Law to a golf. Your Herbert, boy Herbert Cousins Stafford. I'll try and grab two of those guys. Maybe this is this is what happens to me is like every time I want to sit on a QB and just wait till like Gino is there. Yeah, I know this motherfucker. You have a guy like Dak sitting. All right, I got Dak here, and I already have CD, so it's like that's an easy pick for me. Yeah. Even yeah. though I already have a good quarterback. So now, like, when I'm in the 14th, 15th round and I look at my team, I'm like, I got Dak and Lamar. I don't need to take a third fucking uh, QB quarterback. Yeah. I should start doing that strategy a little bit more often. What are you leaning towards here? Nine, 902. 902. Um, I mean, I only. Let me see. Running backs are getting thin, man. Yeah, they are. You just need Gus Edwards. Wide receivers thin, too, a little bit. Yeah. I mean, you're everything's not, not in here, but quarterbacks aren't. I'd rather shoot on these running backs than these wide Bang. receivers right uh, now. I want, I, want either, I want a Tony P there. Interesting. Pajay's your guy, though. Yeah, but he'll stay on the board a lot longer. If there's one of them that I'm more likely to get next time, it's him, even though I probably won't get either. You see, Dave, he says this is a safe space, Andrew. You can draft JJ. For sure. You can. I, I probably will not be drafting JJ McCarthy here. I what love you, JJ McCarthy for dynasty purposes. Nick, uh, J Mo just went there. Walk me through J Mo again Jamo's for you. In this draft? Yeah. No, he's not. Oh, James. Jameson Williams. <laughs> hey, man, James Steen. James Steen. Yeah. J Mo, like, uh, dude, I showed up yesterday. He was wanting me to play imposter with you guys, and he left and he didn't even come in today. It's like, yeah. damn. Yeah, he's a fraud. Kind of getting I'm a little boat. bit of an ADP value here on Brock Bowers. Yeah, dude. Starting to get one. You better scoop that up. I'm not scooping that up. I already have a tight end. I drafted your least favorite one. Who? Kyle Pitts. Mm. Sam Laporta? Dang, that's crazy. Sam Laporta. All right, Mr. Andrew. Andrew Tutu. The homie Nick asked uh, Andrew about James Conner. Oh, you don't want to know my opinion on James Conner right Literally now. Literally asked for it. We don't, but he does. Um, real quick, you guys help me out here. Okay. Romeo Dobbs or Josh Palmer? Palmer. Palmer. Really? In best ball. Wait, yeah. I have Lad, though. So? so if you're I'm going grab, Dobbs. You're an idiot. F your opinion. <laughs> that is true. You could have had Herbert, Palmer, Ladd together. Like, that's the whole passing offense. I don't care See, about your opinion. That's I'm just kidding. So Nick, just that's, kidding. that's what, just because you say okay. something doesn't mean that no, you I have like, things I going like around. It. That was good. Um, I just drafted just Connor. Terrible. Do you think his productivity goes down because of Trey Benson? I'm an AZ fan. Uh, No, I don't, honestly. Um, I am very high on James Connor. We have a video coming out in the next week or two where I kind of – flag plant james connor is the best value in all of drafts right now i have him like 
six spots higher in my rankings than where he's currently being drafted in ADP. So I just, I really like James Conner. He's one of my guys right now. And uh, yeah, he's one of my guys. What do you guys think? You, I mean, we talked a lot about it a little bit, but you guys are a little bit more worried about Connor, right? Yeah, I think I'm ready to tell you how I feel about it. Probably need to scroll up on the draft board too. Trey. Um, let me get yeah, this I mean, I'm, I'm not there. like super sold that Trey Benson is going to be a huge problem, but I think it's like soup. It's very much within the range of outcomes that by the end of the year, Benson has a, a significant role. And something we talked about in that video was like Connor's a dude who gets hurt yearly, right? Misses anywhere from two to four games typically. And he's never had a good backup behind him that if he steps on and like plays really well, then you might have concern for what his workload is when he comes back. That's the thing with Benson is he's such a, an electric playmaker that Connor misses a month and Benson's like the workhorse during that time. There's a very good chance that um, Benson could carve out like a real legitimate big role. So I think that's that's the biggest concern. It's not necessarily that Benson's going to be like outworking James Connor, but there's there, there's a world where uh, James Connor misses time and Benson becomes I would go up. Go up more. Go up more. Yeah. I don't know. Other way. Go down. <laughs> Dub. Ain't got no time. Hey. And this is a safe space. You can take JJ. You could take that off. I don't. I don't know, man. I'm starting to see a little bit of an ADP value right here on Jaden Daniels, man. Do I want to bite at this? You gonna do it? I mean, you don't have a quarterback. I feel like this is a good, uh, a good build to to go for a high upside. We were just guy talking about though. Caleb, though. How much you love him? That's fair. You should have went Palmer and built around the Chargers. Dude. It's so opposite of what the market value says. Mm -hmm. market, market value. Like, no one is building around the. You Chargers know what I'm doing? Offense. We said it. When you don't take Kyron, you just take Corum. Wow. Terrible. Worst day of my life. There yeah. goes Brock at the 10 6. Andrew's setups are so, so easily read. I kind of think about Jaden, but you know he won't take him. Here's the question Will he make it back to you? There's no way. Oops. I mean, if he does, he's an auto pick. Jaden. I just, I was. This is another spot where I'm like, damn, like, if I didn't take a quarterback early, you could have taken, uh, taken, you know, uh, yeah. There goes Caleb ahead of him. Daniels or a two. Uh... There's just there's still too many good quarterbacks. I feel like I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I personally feel like the quarterback position is so deep this year that I almost don't care to draft one until like this late every time. I mean, fuck. On a four, they're bad. Dude, that type of energy for getting sniped on a brown is so rare. Yeah. It's actually kind of electric. It's the only fucking guy I wanted there. God damn. Hairs on the back of my neck just stood up. Shit. Andrew saying nothing. Talk to me, Andrew. I don't really know what else to say to you right now. You think I won't take there. fucking... Uh, I know you won't. You think I won't take Gus Edwards right now? I know for a fact you won't He's take so, Gus. You're going to take Chase Brown. You literally think I won't take Gus Edwards right now? Just, literally? Just take Adonai. Do you, on everything that you love, think I won't take Gus Edwards? Like with this pick right tried now. to kill me with a board earlier. <laughs> what does that have to do with Gus Edwards? No. I almost died. You think yes that in the next three seconds literally I won't take Gus. Literally. I wouldn't literally never. Literally. See that? There you go. I don't trust Cliff, so I'm not that's the other thing I didn't even bring up with Jaden Daniels. Like one of my biggest concerns is Cliff fucking Kingsbury. Cliff Kingsbury. Cliff Dingleberry. If I'm not mistaken, though, wasn't That's Kyler really wasn't Kyler actually in a pretty shitty offense? Pretty he was. Good. And then, like, as soon as the NFL figured out Cliff's offense, Cliff was he was. If you want to talk about the definition of a fucking cone, at the <laughs> coaching position, it was Cliff. The last two years he was there, they right. couldn't produce a play that was more than like four yards. You know what's crazy though is, is the hype for Cliff will just never die. It feels dude, it's like insane. He may, it, it, dude. Him going to the NFL, like he went from, uh running the USC offense to NFL head coach, it, it feels like like Bronny. What are you being a six point per game player like, to like a NFL draft pick? How electric must he be off the field? Like just Cliff? yeah. Dude, we were playing uh dudes name and dudes yesterday. Okay. You know what that is where the picture, the picture yeah. just pops up. You got a name. Your boy on. Gus just went by the way. Good. Fuck. Uh Cliff 
Cliff looked like a looked like a bum when he was younger. He got exponentially better looking the older he got. Mm. The, op- the opposite of you. Well, that's your opinion. <laughs> that's your opinion. Don't get me wrong, I'll still give you a smooch, but the beard, it's the the height. I don't look all that great, but it's all right. It's a lack of sleep. Man. Well, I still would choose me though. Thanks. At 509. What 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 did they say? 509? Yeah, 509. Give me some Josh Downs, man. I like oh my it. gosh. That shit is it right there. Bro. Hell Brother. yeah. What is happening in this draft? Gabriel. Dude, I hate when all hey, my players that, don't uh, have uh, fucking comment down. I hate when I my really players don't to, have the picture. I feel like I'm gonna get Cliff Cones. <clears throat> I feel like I'm gonna get a board thrown at me again. So they're I'll just these little silhouettes. Cliff Conesbury, dub. Dave is killing the uh, chat right now. Yeah, he might be the goat. Coda, don't do it. Yes. Got confidence, baby. Bro, we are in. <laughs> there was a funny ass fucking video that someone made. Like, we are. Hooking. I gotta find it for you. It was like a guy being like, "This is just what I've been for the last <laughs> week," and he's in like a doctor's waiting room, and he's just like. <laughs> BBL, <laughs> and he's just like like three or four lines that I can't get out of my head, and he would just like turn to everybody and just keep saying, "I'm like, we're all the same fucking person, huh? Just little robots mm-hmm. on this planet." It's getting warm in this motherfucker, huh? bro. We need to talk to someone about the. Uh, I actually did. I told him to fix it in here. Guys, look at your work. I'm like, you know, what do you fucking? Do? What is it with you and places that don't have AC? They like hate you. He doesn't believe in it. That's fair. Actually, it does. Bu- I believe it builds character, though. First stream I ever did when the guy was sweating my fucking ass. I'm off, sweating dude. this pick right now, honestly. Are you? Yeah, oh, I, I've yeah. had my eyes dialed in on this player for like nine rounds. Nine, nine rounds. That's insane. <laughs> That's a dub. <laughs> Literally like nine rounds. And uh, oh, we'll no. see if it happens here. You're really going to do this? I can't wait to see this bullshit. Me either. It's so going to be like fucking Darnell Mooney. I knew it was going to be Kirk. God, you're the so The APL stuff. Super stack, baby. Drake London, Kyle Pitts, and Kirk Cousins in Damn. this. What are you gonna do? When, what are you gonna do when Penix takes over early? What are you gonna do when the Falcons are I'll fucking cry. seven and ten? Okay. Actually, I'll lose three dollars. Yeah, you will. What were they? Didn't they win eight games last year? Yeah. We got significantly worse. You do you like doing that though? The super stack with like a tight end, a wide receiver, and a QB. I'm fine with it. If Kirk's a part of it, I don't call it a super stack. Oh, it's personally. the super stack, baby. If you did this last year with... What uh, do you guys think of Kendra uh, this year? He he just went. Whatever. Uh, I don't know. There's just... I feel like there's been so little to get excited about with him. Like, we never hear yeah. anything good about him. I'm kind of... Kind of with you. Thanks, it's kind of crazy. No, his, his, everyone still, I think, is talking about the upside for the most part. I just... I don't know what that is. All right. Uh, what would you think, Nick? I I got a oh motherfucker. Rico the only dude on my goddamn queue, dude. Rico Dottle. Rico, Rico Dottle season. That's fine. I, I I don't have a single share of Zach Charbonnet. Really? I got a wow. diversify a little. Good bit. little injury insurance. Yeah, he might be the goat. He might be okay. And he was <laughs> diversification a- isn't always a good thing. I mean, I don't know. I. I you think it's an insurance policy, or what? What do you What do you view? Do you think he carves out a, a little more meaningful role this year? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> Short answer. No. What do you? If they all stayed healthy, if everybody stays healthy on the team, you think the new OC they want to run the offense through Kenneth Walker? Yes. Yeah. Um, it's hard to say, but I think so. What does that say? Drafting Kirk is like what? Ordering a bacon, egg, and cheese at a bagel shop. You know, it'll be good, but it won't blow you away. You might. Have, that's that's uh, that's your first bad comment. I will order a, a bacon egg and cheese from Bagel Pub is top three goaded uh, sandwiches. In Dude, America. it's actually the one thing that I always make sure I get when I'm here. Bars, bacon egg and cheese. Yeah, I couldn't agree. Like that's the best thing you can get at a bagel shop. What do you mean? Yeah, it's a, it's like an auto order for me. It's an auto pick. By the way, I went to high school with Wanda. That's why I say him over you. That's yeah. some good inside info. If you told us that, Andrew, earlier. did you go to high school with him too? No, I went to high school with uh, Brevin Jordan. Okay. Actually, I went to middle school with Brevin Jordan. So it was like a small... You know, I went to high school with C.D. Lamb. Really? Yeah. Are you just lying? Not me and him were in the same chemistry class. Did you call him C.D. or Sedarian? 
Sedarian Steen. Sedarian Steen. What a Steen. No, remember Vegas is tight end you. I, I had all the I had Kincaid, Bellinger, Brevin, all them. You know, BDG is wide receiver you. C D, Justin Jefferson, all them dudes. I went oh, yeah. cool. Our fucking gym class team was Jamo so Steen. I just I want you guys to be aware of this is what I deal with on a daily basis with these two. Who? Talking to the audience, sorry. And you and them. And him. Oh, uh, you too. Taylor Ham over bacon, but I respect it. You could really tell which video is the fifth video of the day for us, huh? It always ends this. I mean, always tell us just mumble. Dude, what was uh? What was it was? Oh, I said a word about it was, fantasy football in about seventeen it was, minutes. It was Ramadan. Was Andrew was dragging. The la- I feel like Andrew on Ramadan right now. I'm just right, let's go. Let's dial in for the last six rounds. That's goat tier type level, brother. Let's get it. I have way more rookies than I want on this team. Did I just time out? You guys didn't tell me. Oh no, I'm good. You have way more rookies. Yeah, than I want. Who do you have? Who do you have rookie wise? I don't think I've taken one yet. Dude, that was such a stress. Neighbors <laughs> you just got so upset at us. We didn't do anything. I have Malik Neighbors, Lad McConkey, Blake Corum, and Jalen Wright. You gotta calm down. Yeah, it's... They just feel like the best value at the point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so pissed. How are you gonna take fourth round Jalen Wright over first round Xavier Leggies? Because our roster construction, brother. What about Wandell Robinstein? Um, roster construction, brother. What about Rashad Bateman's team? What about Chuba? What about Troy Franklin's team? I need to keep Troy Franklin's yeah. team. That's something we can talk about. <laughs> That's some fucking steam action. That's some steamy action. All right, right dude. On. What? I'm I'm as <laughs> dialed as it gets, man. What? I'm out here with um I'm drafting, dude. I need to stop this. The I keep drafting I Panthers. Oh, Gut, I need to, I have a problem. I keep drafting Panthers. I drafted two Panthers right. there. Chuba and Leggett. Tell me, tell me this, tell me this, tell me this, tell me. Okay. This. Actually, I can't even talk about them until my picks closer. Don't tell me anything. Don't be a coward. Just talk about them. Just, I'm not doing it. Wow. If my team wasn't so fucking fragile right now, I'd talk about them. Actually, it ain't that bad. Who just uh, knight me on Gibson? Okay, okay, that's the fucking player I was about to talk about. Never mind, dude. Mm. I was gonna say, okay, let's say, uh, yes, you know, we're saying Ramondre is probably capped a little bit by Gibson. If Ramondre gets hurt, what kind of role do we see for Gibson in New England? The whole thing. Yeah. I think so. What do you think? I don't actually, I'm th- trying to think of the. the like, who the hell star. is even on the team? I don't actually know of another uh, running back. JJ I, Taylor. So, and yeah. Is he still there? Actually? What about yes. Pierre Strong? Pierre Strong, Pierre Strong actually was in there. Cleveland last year and did nothing. They got, they cut him. They, no, tra- they got traded to the Patriots, didn't he? They traded, the Patriots traded him to Cleveland. Oh, right. Okay. Cause he was in the same class as Kevin Harris. Maybe yeah. Kevin Harris. Kevin Correct. Harris is still there. Kevin Harris is still there. Actually, good call. He's always there he every preseason, and then they just cut him. And then they bring him back in the preseason. That feels like not true. <laughs> they just cut him every year. They just cut him every one year. year. Yeah. They just literally every get Every offseason, they cut him and bring Practice him back. squad. Cut him oh, in. I have the absolute sharpest pick in top three history. So really? do I. Dude, this is kind of. Honestly, I don't Let us know. that This this might be the GOAT live stream right now. Is it? I mean, I, no that's why I said let us know. Anyone watching it t- the next day is, is like made it past. Electric. Or even gives a fuck about what we're saying right now. Well. That's probably every time. Right, I got talk. two in my queue. Tommy can't do nothing to me. Do it. Take him. I'll literally stop. Okay. Who they're they're losing their minds over Troy, and it wasn't me. I didn't take him. Wait, Troy. Wow. You see the uh, Matt Harmon's RP on Michael Wilson? Pretty good. Was I didn't it? See it actually? I did not see it. It was like 60, 65 to seventieth percentile. Right, that's not bad. Should be a good little piece next to uh, two there. Marv. Mm-hmm. What you gonna do? Hell What's your yeah. next pick here? Let everyone know. I literally will never tell you. Mm. I'm getting nervy. Last time you told me, literally, it was a little <laughs> If you guess who it is, I'll say yes. Uh, It's going to be Noah Fant. Nope. Marcus Robinstein. Wow, what a terrible I kinda, pick. No, no, no. D-Rob is actually him this year. I'm getting nervy. Really? He had like, uh, yeah, yeah. I think he's going to be a really solid wide receiver. Through. He had a, a, a nice stretch to finish the season last year. Yeah. He was great down the stretch. And if Booker uh, Cup get hurt, he's... he's, he's I actually he's added him on a few uh, best ball dynasty this, this feels like an Adam question. Oh, come on. Actually, you know what's crazy? Is it's tight end 28 or something. You want to scroll up a little bit on the board, too, if you can? Sure. What's the... Uh... Never mind. <laughs> Show the, yeah, the rest of the draft board. There you go. Uh, who's y'all's GOAT late tight end? I mean, Nick doesn't have any honor. He's going to make me say it, so I get sniped. 
Noah. Noah. If you were going to try to hold it back, I was going to tell people. I mean, that's exactly. Right, talk about it. Uh, he just got. Is he gone? No. Okay. No. Noah Fant though, the the snap share he had the last two years with Pete Carroll is just abysmal, and I don't know if it go if it's like went under the radar. Or people just think Noah Fant sucks now. I'm not even going to say he's like elite, but. He just went. The snapshot that he had the last two years, he, he finished where you you should expect him. Um, he was 34th last year at tight ends in Let's the snapshot. Let's go, big girls. That's where he finished. Years in Denver, though, he was a top 12 like opportunity guy, I think, with what they've done at the room. All they have added in tight ends are blocking tight ends. They brought in Farrell Brown. Um, they drafted A.J. Barner, who's a blocking tight end. I, there's a lot of mouths to feed, but I think with the uptick in passing uh, volume, no offense – I'd say this, he's impossible to, outside of an injury, not return value. I just, I, I feel like he's going to be a top 15 tight end at minimum this year. You thought I wasn't taking Gino? You can't get him. I know. Anna sniped you as soon as you started talking about him. Thanks, Anna. I appreciate you including me this time. <laughs> she got me and you today. I'd have to go showing off like that. Now, now, now we, now the zero tight end is in absolute shambles. I mean, so, we are so fucked. You guys probably feel very uneasy about my quarterback room, don't you? I mean, Kate Otten, Kirk Cousins and Geno Smith, baby. Yeah, it's not great. You're going to get about 16 points a week out of your QB position. I wouldn't, me, I wouldn't say uneasy. I just don't feel very good about it I at feel all. solid about it, actually. Do you? Okay. Yeah. Talk to us. I just, I don't know. I feel like in a best ball format where it just gonna is going to pick them for me, I don't have to make the start sit decision. And then I have the Tyler Lockett, Geno Smith stack, and then I have the Kirk Cousins, Atlanta super stack. There's some upside there. Okay. Yeah. I made the most of what I was dealt for punting the position to. Or you guys think I think you got to go to the third quarterback, maybe. Really? With the guys left on the board, that's not worth spending the roster spot, I don't feel like. Yeah, okay. Maybe not, actually. What do you guys think that I went Chig and Likely at tight ends back to back there? Fuck with that. I like Likely. I wonder if they're going to start using Likely more in a wide receiver role. So that's actually. I don't feel like they should. I mean, I feel like they kind of said they were going to do it last year. He got the role because of Mark Andrews' injury. I just, I feel like he's shown enough talent uh, to deserve the opportunity. I just will see if it happens this year. Yeah. He averaged like 15 PPR fantasy points a game down well, the he was, last like six weeks when he was Andrews was out. A really good, uh, if you had him either on the waiver wire or you like had him stashed in Dynasty, huge. We're going to yeah. lean into this a little bit. Stop leaning into stuff. Lean in like another line on walk. Ben's you know, down here and coming. Dude, that's crazy. And Senate L pick. Iowa tight ends always figure it out. Jack knows. Gino down year incoming. Does it get? I thought that was last year. I thought he had a down year last year. Yeah. What do you mean down? Like last year was all right. The down Explain year. to me the Ben Senate <laughs> thing. Is it Senate or Sanat? First Sinet. of all, Senate. Okay. Now explain it to me. Explain the pick. Yeah. Or just like I, I think you're pretty in on him. I, I like him. Um, it's just I look at I needed a backup tight end to spell Kyle Pitts. You certainly got a backup. Oh, and, you got uh, the backup tight end on the Commanders. I mean, I'm looking at like Jonu Smith, Jelani Woods, Mike Gesicki. Juwan Johnson is somebody that I would probably have considered if he didn't have the foot injury, but because he has the foot injury right now, I'm kind of out. I also have so much exposure to Juwan Johnson right now that That's I'm interesting. I had so exposure to him last oh. year and got absolutely murked for it, but I'm kind of thinking about. If I do end up letting tight end sit on the board, maybe going his way. You don't worry about that foot injury that he's getting surgery on. I drafted a lot of my shares, but I'm saying like 18th round pick. Yeah, I mean yeah. you can get him as the last guy, but um, I don't know. I I just think I had to take a guy. You, ben Sinnott probably had the most upside. Maybe J John Smith has upside in that offense, but I don't know. I'd rather not mess around with that. Let's go. Probably take. I was thinking about taking the two cones, oh. Pierce and Clyde together. Hell yeah. But got, got hit with Pierce. From Dynasty 101 to the 1611. Falling on hard times. Mm -hmm. But you rise back up. All right. I'm to the point where I need, I need to draft someone that's actually good on my team in the 17th round. So far, just looking at this team, I like the Atlanta stack. I think my running backs are solid, but I I need a couple rookies to break my way, and I don't like that. 
who are the rookies? All the rookies. Like you look at the top of the queue, and it's just all rookies that it's float just up all there. Rookies. Right. I think there's there's a lot of value to be had at the veteran positions here. So the rookies, Adam, are Do Blake it. Fuck. Blake Corum and Jalen Wright. And then at the wide receiver, I have neighbors and McConkey. And then okay. I have Ben Sinnott. Yeah, that's fine. Well, like the first two running backs, it's like, all right, those are late shots. Yeah. Neighbor is a different uh cost and that's decent cost. So net I'm uh I don't know. I'm not I don't know. I don't even know how much this offense is going to be relevant in the passing game aside from Terry McLaurin. And is he gonna take a step forward either? I don't know. But I mean, where you drafted them, it's not like there was you already there's nothing left. You there. mentioned the names. There's not yeah. a lot of guys there. DJ Chark? Is he bike? Here's the thing. <laughs> I love this. Here's the thing. The Chargers pass offense is gonna be atrocious. Somebody has to get value every week in that room. Not true. His name's Lad McConkey. Well, Justin Herbert's gonna have probably like seven games where he throws for a buck eighty. Um Seven, maybe like six. <laughs> DJ Chark's the only thousand yard wide receiver on that roster. He's got to take deep shots down down the field to somebody, I guess. Dude, oh, does he? I gotta no, keep sure, taking rookies. Not. I gotta keep taking all the rookies. DJ Chark might get cut within about three days. What? what? Yeah. I'm I mean, light. I'm lighting my three dollars on fire right now. So when you get to round 17, 18 in these drafts, there's just nothing you could do but fucking yap. I'm just actually thinking about back in the goat days, the OG days when Nick and the boys got me hyped up for my stack of Gardner Minshew and DJ Chark. Like back fairly early in Dynasty. I was I was in on Chark. Dude, I was I was like, all right, this is gonna be the goat stack. And I'm pretty sure I like I uh compared DJ Chark to like AJ Green at one point. <laughs> <laughs> Holy hell! Yeah, I was Dumb. I was like that. Back yeah, in the day. I like I that. Was built different. I like that. All right, I officially hate everyone that's left. Yeah, you get to this round and it's like just take anybody you want. See, you know what the other fucking problem with uh, taking good quarterbacks and good tight ends is like when I get to these rounds, I, like the best I, players are the quarterbacks and tight ends. Right, I have like eight wide receivers, and I'm like, do I take nine wide receivers? Do I take fucking a hell of running backs? I don't really know what to do with myself or my hands. We are in shambles at QB outside of A Rich. Who do you have? I have no one. You don't even have a second QB? I have. I just took him. That's tough. Bo Nix? I got Bo Nix. You know and, and then you've got Bo Nix for the year. JJ McCarthy. Yikes. He might yep. play six games this Yikes. year. That, that might be the six I need him. Maybe eight. Still I, like, I like that. I would I would take. Eight. I would take eight to ten. What are the chances? Hear me out. Okay. Zero. Actually, um, another guy I don't want to bring up yet, really. But I've been drafting a bunch. A, a veteran that I've been drafting a bunch in the in the eighteenth because I, I have I I feel like he could low key be the running back too. If it's who I think it is, he used to play in purple. Yeah. Yes, dude. I who? dropped. I've drafted a lot of them. Sammy. No. Wait. What was your question? I All I heard was purple. Taking. I'm not taking him. I'm taking a value on this guy. The 80. Wait, what the fuck? All right. You're taking a value on this guy? Who? Nick. He just took Ray Davis. That's who I wanted. Dub. Dub. All right. Sorry, Nick. Now I got to take the guy that I'm talking about. Okay. That's fine. That's who I thought. That's not who I wanted. Okay. When you said he used to play in purple, I thought you said he played in purple. Oh, no, no, no. He used to play in purple. I actually... I don't mind Alexander Madison as uh, Zamir's backup. I don't either. I think he'll he'll have a stint at some point this year where he's like fantasy relevant. I wanted Ray Davis. That was like a fifty round ADP value on Ray Davis. Really? Yeah. I mean, I mean, not fifty round, fifty dude, spot. Sure. <laughs> well, I don't think I've taken Ray Davis at all. I should probably take a few. Dude, I mean, if James Conner goes down. James Cook. I'm, James Cookie. What am I? I'm Cooker thinking about teams. James Conner so much. 50 rounds. Here's the fifth video of the James day. Cook. I, it is, I will say that. And it's also, what is, why is it so hot? All right. So the running back or the player that I was talking about. That, Hank Bigsby? Hell no. <laughs> um, Keaton Mitchell? No. So Keaton Mitchell's got the ACL tear. Rashawn Ali is a six round pick. Mm. They've used Justice Hill quite a bit in that offense. I think there's a really good chance he enters the year as the RB2 in Baltimore. 
Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, so just I went back to confirm that ADP value on on Ray Davis. And it turns out you lied. It's like 43 spots, but that's a lot of yeah, so he spends my well, I was trying to get Russ late and I had to take his ADP is uh 162 and he was drafted at the 208. Jatavian Sanders actually got drafted. Uh, huh. Nobody took Juan Johnson. All right, so that's the draft right there. What do you think of your team? You think about uh ever taking that comment off the screen or what he doesn't uh, remove comments ever. like out of control it's yeah. a cleveland comment he I, does he does it on his streams too the comment will sit there for what's the point of 25 the minutes yard deck over there there's <laughs> how many what comments is he doing isn't the one thing with Family, using many, my fucking mouse more than the stream yard how many deck. comments are on this they shouldn't be on the screen for 40 minutes all right, guys, we're going to leave your comments off from now on thanks for joining correct <laughs> Cor- fucking correct that's yep that's how you go with this well, shit. Fucking question for fucking round 12. Dude, shocker to nobody. My Rank projection the is the, the lowest in this whole fucking thing. Say that again? You have how many quarterbacks? Two. Yeah. That's that's, it, it's, that's all how it goes off of. If you yeah. have three quarterbacks, you'll have high projections, two, you'll have low. Yep. Imagine thinking I wouldn't be at least top three. All right, let's three. summarize the teams. Um, okay, let's summarize them. Start, kick us off, Adam. Uh, all you, right, Nick BDG. Let's, let's take a peek. Sure. Lamar and Dak, I got to love that. Tyron RB1, Tony Pollard, Chase Brown, Zach Charbonnet, CEH, Justice Hill. Wide receivers are pretty stacked, though. CeeDee Lamb, Devontae Smith, Deontay Johnson, JSN, Mario Douglas, Michael Wilson, Marcus Robinson, DJ Chark, and then Mark Andrews and Dalton Schultz. How are you feeling, Nick? I feel good. Um, I feel like I, you know, if this is a sandwich, I, I think maybe the best parts of it would be the bread. But Kyron and CD make me feel good. Devontae's got me warm inside. Uh, I think after the top players in those spots, it obviously falls off a little bit. But um, overall, I feel like I, I I built a pretty well-rounded team. I don't feel I don't see real defic- deficiencies anywhere. Yeah, I think uh, I think you might have the edge you have at QB and tight end might make up for any lack of depth at the other two spots. Yeah, actually, that's what I'm thinking Dubs. All right, Andrew. I'm gonna put his team. Yeah, can Andrew. Team well, Andrew, can you? Actually, I don't know if you can. Andrew, walk us through what happened with yours. Yeah, um, I mean, quarterback position, I came away with Kirk Cousins and Geno Smith. That was strategically to stack with uh, Drake London, Kyle Pitts, and Tyler Lockett. Um, At the running back position, I came away with Brees Hall, Joe Mixon, Blake Corum, Jalen Wright, Tyler Algier, Bucky Irving, and Alexander Madison. Uh, Basically went with the two guys and then took a bunch of handcuff shots and high upside shots. Wide receivers. Uh, Drake London, Stefan Diggs, Malik Neighbors, Lad McConkey, Tyler Lockett, Romeo Dobbs, and Josh Dude, Downs. And then at tight end, Kyle Pitts, Ben Sinnott. So uh, more rookies than I wanted, but I felt like they kept kind of just falling into my lap. And I like your wide receivers a lot. Kind of the way that I went with that. I, I do like the wide receivers too. I actually got pretty good value there on Neighbors as well. You see his ADP is 26. Yeah. I got him at 41. Yes. Na- neighbors, uh, neighbors and McConkey at wide receiver three and four. You're saying rookies, but that's I don't I don't hate that at all. Actually, I don't either. Yeah, big drops, and a lot of that's probably because you're with my audience, and I kind of tell them to relax on the rookie wide receivers, so you see big, big ADP drops. But again, like kind of the opposite of my team, where you really stack the middle rounds with those guys, you see it on the back end of the depth of you know quarterback and tight end, etc. Yep. All right. Yep. And let's take a peek. At let's go over to the woke team, the team that's projected top it's three. A, I feel okay with that roster. It's going to come down to how good Atlanta is. All right. Y'all tell me what you think of this squad. So I got A. Rich, terrible quarterbacks at the end. Bo Nix and uh, J.J. McCarthy. Then I got Gibbs, Jonathan Taylor, Raheem Mostert, Trey Benson, Tajay Spears, Chuba Hubbard. Wide Love receiver, the running backs. Really good running back. Yeah. Wide receivers are George Pickens, T. Higgins, Chris Godwin, Xavier Worthy, Adnan Mitchell, Brandon Cooks, Xavier Leggett, tight ends, Chiggy, and Likely. So that spot's weak. Yeah, that tight end spot's, that tight end spot's gonna not be tough. great. And it, A. Rich being the only like real usable QB with his kind of like injury uh, possibility makes me a little bit nervous too. But I, don't I, th- mind I think his skill positions are really though, well though. To kind of supplement QB2. Wait, say that again? I said I don't mind grabbing both of the rookies to supplement that QB2 spot. It's not bad. It, the was problem there anything? is like if JJ is not playing though for eight weeks, ten weeks. like yeah. then Which is what I kind of expect. Is there anybody on the board that you got like good values on in ADP that maybe fought, uh, fell and yeah, I mean, which one? 
I mean, talk to me. Which uh, let's see. So we got. <laughs> he took everybody above AB. <laughs> <laughs> Raheem Raheem Moser, Moser. 12 spots above. Uh, no, so we got uh, Trey Benson a little after. We got. You got no values, brother. I got no, no values. values. Going so, to get dubs. But we got the projection really high. You, Xavier Worthy, you got 23 spots later. Y'all hated Xavier, Xavier. Worthy. And Adonai. Adonai, Adonai, Cooks. Adonai, I felt like I had to stack with A Rich there. Nah, I fuck with that stack. I also got Brennan Cooks at value and Xavier Leggett at value. You kind of got a value on Sharb, Nick. Thanks on Sharb? So. Yeah, you got 10 spots on him. Yeah, I might be the greatest. You might be the woke. Uh, let's see here. I was going to look and see if there's any teams. That are projected really, really high. Nothing crazy. If you have three QBs, you're projected highly. Okay, so let's see what C span is projected the highest. Let's see if this is. Is he the guy who took Kyle? Is this news oh. or noise? Uh, I mean, Tua, Aaron Rodgers, Russell Wilson, CMC is nice. A Chan and CMC, Brooks, Chandler, Foreman. We get depth weak, but stacked at the top of running back. I think he, I think he drafted well. Yeah, yeah, I like this team. Ingram and Komet. Who are his quarterbacks? Uh, he had three solid ones. Tua, Rogers. Aaron Rodgers, and Russell Wilson. Did he get any stacks here? Nothing with Tua. He got a the a Aaron Rodgers. He got Malachi and Mike Williams with Aaron Rodgers. Yucky. Um, Yucky Steens. No. Yeah. Actually, yes. I guess a chance. Receivers are all right, but I'm a little worried about the depth. But I think his team overall is actually pretty damn good. Yeah. There's another team that took Kyler, Herbert, and... Another, and I couldn't. It's definitely if Vigles. I remember that team was pretty. They were Vigles. like right in front of me. You gotta be Vigel scene. Wow, that was literally just a guess. What a great pool. Kyler yeah. Herbert Levis. Oh, this is a fucking squad. Saquon Swift, B Rob Ford, Ford Tracy Roshan. Yeah, I don't hate this team at all. Yeah, this is solid. Chase roster. DJ Moore, Jaden Reed. I I like this team. I guess I just like every team. <laughs> <laughs> I love fantasy football. <laughs> All right, we have to definitely look at Anna's team, though. I That's... hate it. It's... Anna, you might have the. Do you hate fantasy football? I hate it. That's why I want to end this video. All right, Jalen Hurts, Jared Goff, life. Baker Mayfield, Kenneth Walker, Jalen Warren, Devin Singletary, Kamani Vidal, Khalil Herbert, Grando. He knew he was gonna be... Jefferson Ayuk, baby Pittman. That's a nice one. Those, those right. three. That's uh, ridiculous. Holy hell! And this team is terrible. Came away with Kincaid. I love it. Kincaid, Goddard, and Fant. And whatever, when you win, just God. don't forget about us, okay? So you like going zero running back, like it's not a bad strat because you can get Walker I, at okay. fucking pick 70. Let me ask you, I, I don't know. I actually don't mind my team, given, but I, I don't know that I like, and you're talking about that two uh, running back thing. I'm not sure that I like it uh, when I look at my team in hindsight. So, okay, I've tried a couple builds where I've went like RB heavy at the turn yeah. and, and grabbed the two guys, but I'll tell you from experience, you got to choose to punt both QB and tight end late. So like, don't do what I did. I, I think the a rich pick, if you substitute that with a wide receiver, you probably feel a lot better about the roster. Okay. And that would probably substitute out like, uh, I don't know, a worthy or an Adonai as a QB instead. And that's still probably in that Tua tongue of I lower range. Yeah. That's almost like Dak range. So I feel like you'd feel a lot better about the lineup in that respect. It's probably just, you went too early on the QB. Um, but that's not bad. I think you just have to, when you double pot commit at the running back, you do have to punt tight end and QB. It's, it's like, you're almost yeah, it's showing your hand Two running backs. It feels like it's just more worthwhile to grab uh, a high end wide receiver one at the turn there. And then you can kind of start mixing him because you can get guys like Walker, Rashad white, almost where you got Chris Godwin. Yeah. So I would say, I would say the process is probably right, but the player is just him. A rich is going to be. Yeah, he's him. If yeah. A rich stays healthy, I think he could break fantasy. But yeah. process, I think you're. I think you're spot yeah. on. You get because in that range, you can get a Dak. You can get uh, even if you wanted to wait a little longer, you can go in that range like Caleb, Jaden, yep. versus getting A rich. All right. Yep. Anything else? I think we ah, big covered screen. all of it. Big screen our asses. Big screen our asses, girl. Yeah. Girl. And we got to yeah. back in it after all that. I yeah. Well. Uh, that's gonna wrap it up for this team. Ooh, someone hit us with a pookie. That makes me want to look at it. Um, nah, fuck it. We gonna wrap it up. Here. Yeah, you guys. Uh, we're about to hit the hour mark, so we'll take it away here. We'll be doing this every other Thursday. I'm actually gonna start my own streams uh, starting on Saturday, this upcoming Saturday. So 
you want to jump in with me, it'll be the same thing just without these two ugly fucks hey, next to me. You'll put your if you don't want on. these ugly fucks, I stream every Wednesday. So <laughs> there we go. So we got fucking underdog. streams. If you're subscribed to Adam and Andrew and uh, me and Dynasty, like you can probably figure out a stream every single day if you wanted to. Despite uh, the fact that I'm old, ugly, and my brain don't work, subscribe to my channel. We love you. <laughs> Facts. All right, uh, go download Underdog as well. Use promo code BDGE. It'll get you a uh, deposit bonus plus the draft guide for free up available for pre-order right now on bdge.co we out of here we hate you goodbye yeah emojis bye